If you're between the ages of 62 and 67 or older, then this is going to be one of the most important videos you watch this year as we head into the 2022 IRS tax return season. If you're not in this age group, then you should still watch this as this information will apply to you at some point in your lifetime as well. But just one dollar could increase taxable income by 35%, creating a social security tax clip if you're not prepared. According to the Social Security Administration, about 40% of all Social Security recipients pay income taxes on their benefits. Depending on how much you receive in additional income per year, you might be subject to a taxation cliff based on certain factors. Your level of combined income is what's used to determine your taxable level. With combined income consisting of your adjusted gross income plus non-taxable interest and half of your social security benefits. Non-taxable interest, if you're not aware, means non-tax interest you may receive from investments like U.S. savings bond interest and municipal bond interest. IRA deductions can also be non-taxed depending on the contribution type. Adjusted gross income is found by subtracting certain deductions from your overall income. Before retirement, these deductions typically include 401k contributions or contributions to accounts like health savings accounts, HSAs, and education. During retirement, though, these deductions dwindle. This plus half of your Social Security benefit determines your level of combined income taxable by Social Security. Now, the cliff begins as follows. The Social Security Administration's guidance on Social Security taxes states that if you file a federal tax return individually and your combined income is between $25,000 and $34,000, you may have to pay taxes on up to 50% of your Social Security benefits. If your combined income exceeds $34,000, up to 85% of your Social Security benefits is subject to, tax, to income tax. This means even $1 above $34,000 makes you subject to taxation. If you file jointly and your spouse have a combined income between $32,000 and $44,000, you may have to pay taxes on 50% of your benefits. If your joint combined income exceeds $44,000, up to 85% of your benefits is subject to income tax. But here's an important note. No more than 85% of your Social Security benefit will ever be subject to tax. We can keep that our little secret, though. If you are married but file separate returns, the SSA claims you will probably pay taxes on your benefits. Income can quickly add up, especially if there are several different sources from other investments. For example, if you are drawing on investment accounts that you have held for years in addition or in additional to the Social Security checks you receive each month, it's very likely your benefits will be taxed. Ideally, Social Security benefits will not be your main source of income regardless, but if they are, then it's just as likely you won't be taxed anyway. Every January, benefit recipients are sent a form, SSA 1099, Social Security Benefit Statement, which shows the amount of benefits you received in the previous year. You can use this statement when filing your taxes to find out if your specific Social Security benefits will be taxed. Make sure you consult with a certified tax professional before year's end so you can make sure you are prepared come tax return season and you aren't hit with a shocking bill due upon receipt to the IRS.